first of all, there's a lot of event risk, right? We know, I know we covered, uh, you know, uh, the Fed, the VOJ, we have RBNZ on Thursday, which is probably going to be a wash and no decision, but there's a lot of other banks meeting out. But we have a, a dollar kind of bearish uh, bias this week. Uh, we think a lot of the moves on Friday were very kind of hocus pocus, uh, where the DXY was up about uh, 86 uh, basis points um, on Friday. Uh, and it finished the week up, you know, 80 basis points, right? And a lot of that was actually what was the liquidation we saw in sterling and euro, uh, which was kind of a completely other issue. What I really do like is long Aussie, uh, long Kiwi, uh, especially the Kiwi uh, technicals, fundamentals, I think very, very strong. It goes back to what we keep saying. It's a relative world, right? Uh, the RBNZ is still at 2%. I don't believe they'll cut. Uh, I think if they do cut, it's going to be November, but there's still a lot of issues, I think, in front of that. Uh, and I actually think the biggest uh, downside risk is on dollar-yen. Uh, as I said, we were 100.5 pre-Jackson Hole, where all the September hype uh, with the Fed potentially moving was. And we're here at 102, and I believe we'll soon be going back to test, uh, you know, 100 and maybe breaking 100 next week.